Hey guys, so I've got a few requests to do a comparison here between the OnePlus 5 and the Sony A3XC Premium, which at first I wasn't actually going to do because at the end of the day I think the AXC Premium and the S8 are in a league of their own. At the end of the day, let's just be honest, uh, in terms of the craftsmanship and the you know features etc. So OnePlus 5 is a good phone, but it does pale in comparison in terms of you know no 4K display, no waterproofing, no high res uh, support and all the good stuff that you do get with the Sony device. Nevertheless, you know, people do want to see a comparison here, so we're going to uh, do a speed test, just start them at the same time. Obviously, the Sony is a little bit more expensive than the OnePlus phone, so, you know, you pay more, you do get a little bit more. But the OnePlus does have some of its own advantages, such as fast charging or dash charging, which I think is among the best uh, on the market. This is an 8 gig RAM model, so you're getting more RAM, future proofing, you get more stock build as well of Android with the AMOLED display, uh, which looks very nice with the black theme here. But I think a lot of people will appreciate the HDR 4K display on the Sony, which gives you, you know, nice uh, color accuracy here. Uh, I think it's more configurable as well in terms of what you want it to be, like vivid or more accurate. Uh, so, oh yeah, and let's not forget there's the camera difference, you do get super slow motion on the Sony, uh, which comes with a 90 megapixel versus a dual camera on the OnePlus 5, uh, which is getting some average reviews, but how did the speed compare, we're going to have a look here, oh, I've got this issue, sometimes occurs, I have noticed with Sony device, doesn't know it's on the table, So you can see here, nice and snappy on both of them. Maybe the OnePlus uh, is slightly ahead here, if we're going to be strict. That was Sony. And uh, where is the settings? Let's go. Uh, so you can see, you know, in terms of the speed, again, literally every Snapdragon uh, 830 is it 830? 835? Yes, 835 device uh, is remarkably well optimized. You know, there's very little in terms of the perceivable difference on any of them. Sony again here. And uh, do we have PlayStation? OnePlus loads it faster, and we do have, uh, what is this, so that was a bit different, uh, let's try some heavy games, I think we do have a few, uh, Shadow Gun, Sony again, I'm calling it, I think Sony is ahead here. Ooh. I nearly cleared all then. Uh, Candy Crush, we do have somewhere. Oh, Sony again. So this is very unexpected. I keep going into the browser. Uh, it's very unexpected that Sony is actually faster than OnePlus here. I thought that at least it would have the speed over the Sony. Well, probably not, you know. This one looks like it's going to OnePlus. Yeah, OnePlus pulls one back there. Very nice. And uh, last one. Uh, I think we have Nova. Go. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Sony. Oh, Sony again. Nice. So Sony is ahead here in terms of the speed test. I'm going to give it the, the nod, so to speak. Uh, we're just going to run a Geekbench as well because we want to know, you know, what the Geekbench is here. See how they do benchmark. But benchmarks mean nothing. Well, you know, some people do still like to see the benchmark. And you can see the specs here. Uh, I will fast forward this. 
So I think we're coming to the end here and you can see the OnePlus seems to be a little bit ahead uh, and it looks like it's going to finish first which is interesting. In terms of the battery, I think the OnePlus is also holding up a little bit better. I think we started at 80% with the Sony, but it's gone down to 75 Both uh, coming with quite a big battery capacity, so they should last a day. Uh, but as I said, you are getting the faster charging in the OnePlus. Uh, I think you get front-facing speaker, though, on the XC Premium, which is nice to have. Uh, I don't think the speaker arrangement is that special on the OnePlus 5. And you can see the score here, very class leading, nearly 2,000 on the OnePlus 5 versus uh, 18 for the single core there on the Z, uh, for the XZ Premium. I nearly called it Z5 Premium, but it's, this is the XZ Premium. So you're getting a little bit better benchmark here. Uh, maybe that's the software, you know, maybe that's the additional RAM, who knows, and who cares, because you can actually see the actual day-to-day -day performance uh, still goes to Sony. <laughs> uh, so we just want to also check out the uh, GPS because I rarely check that out and you know some people do like to go camping in that. So you know we can uh, see how they will perform. So what does this all mean? I forgot, to be honest. Uh, I think um, I think it's the accuracy, isn't it, that we care about as well as the in-use. So it looks like Sony is more in-use and more accurate here, uh, which is nice. Again, the Sony team is out in front. Uh, so what is the... What is the green bars meaning? I don't particularly know, but it looks like uh, there's some more orangey, yellowy bars on the XC Premium. Uh, but I'm more interested in the the accuracy and the in use. And you can see I think Sony's ahead here overall, uh, which is nice. Uh, let's just do a little bit of multitasking and round off the video quite nicely. Uh, so let's go back to the start. All oh, reload there. So maybe this is where you're going to get a better performance on the OnePlus. You can see faster for the camera. So it did reload those first few on the Sony. In fact, let me just check something. This always gets me when it's uh, Sony. Sony phone. Ah, so it's off. I thought it was on then for a minute, because that wouldn't be fair, but it is off, and you can see most of them do load actually okay, uh, let's try the games here, oh I do love it when they both multitask at the same in the same way, it makes things so much easier, and you can really you know go through them, so you know it's after a little bit of a false start, the XC Premium is caught up now. Uh, I'm probably still going to give it the OnePlus. You know, it does have 8 gigs of RAM at the end of the day, which is unheard of. Uh, but I think you can see generally XC Premium is still very good in terms of the multitasking, which is nice. Uh, but you know, I think uh, as I said at the start of the video, you know, if you've got a choice between these two, just go for the Sony at the end of the day. You know, there's no there's no ifs and buts about it. I mean, the Sony really hit the ball out of the park this year. I mean, yes, it could have done a bit better in terms of the, you know, light lead issue and uh, that weird vibration issue, which seems to have gone now completely. So, uh, but, you know, you are getting so much more fee money and it's only a little bit more, at least where I am nowadays with the uh, OnePlus. Uh, so, yeah, just a quick little comparison here. Hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.